sure that you have the proper settings in your Polycom video conferencing software, I want to open the software and go through the settings with you. Uh, you may want to have this video open uh, as well as the Polycom software, so you can hit pause and go back to it as you need to. You should only need to put the settings in once. If the settings aren't properly done already, which they might be, you only need to do this once. Look for this icon right here, Polycom Real Presence Desktop, and if it's not on your desktop, it should be in your start menu, but that's the software you're looking for. So it's going to open up, and assuming that you've connected your webcam uh, to your, your Logitech webcam, uh, to your Polycoms, to your computer, uh, you should see your image uh, on through the Logitech webcam. All right, so I'm going to just full screen this here. Let's take a look at some of the settings. So in the settings, you can ignore the whole sign-in piece. Uh, we don't need any of that uh, in terms of the general. The only thing that's of major importance here is that the H.323, that is our SuperNet video conferencing network. That needs to be checked. Uh, you can check SIP. I don't even know what call to is, but uh, certainly this one has to be check. Don't worry about this at this point. Um, call rate will probably by default be at 512 kilobits per second. You can leave it there. This is the major one that we want. Right now what you're going to see by default is probably this. So the H.323 settings are the really important ones, okay? So the first thing we're going to do this will probably be already checkmarked, so we will enable H.323 calls. Then we're going to go gatekeeper registration. What we're going to do is connect your software to a SuperNet device that sits in Edmonton Catholic Schools downtown, and we have to, and that allows the video traffic to travel securely in and out through our district firewall. So we're going to go gatekeeper registration, and you're going to put this number in here for sure, um, 10. 254.253.40. Now, for the H.323 alias, put your name or your school. It's up to you. Um, but this is when you connect to another site. It'll this will be the name that shows up for them. So you can put uh, the name of your school if you wish to, or you can even put your own name. It's up to you. Now, the H.323 extension. This is like your telephone number. Uh, so we are going to not put in my telephone number here, uh, sort of dial string, but here's how it's going to work. All right. The first three are going to be 799. How it works with Alberta uh, Education's SuperNet video conferencing is that everybody who has a 780 or Northern Alberta telephone number will put 799. If you ever see a 499, that's for Red Deer South. So 799. The next three are your school, the first three numbers of your school telephone number reversed. So if your first three numbers of your school telephone were 448, you'd put 844. Now I have mine is 989, so reverse is the same number. Now the final four. Um, if your school telephone number falls between 2,000 and 4,000, then you're good to go. You can just put the four last digits of your school telephone number, but uh, SuperNet, on SuperNet, they like to keep the dial strings between 2,000 and 4,000 for the last two. So if you don't know, if your number is, you know, 7263 or something like that, that's beyond that 2,000 to 4,000 range, you can just put any number between 2,000 and 4,000, you know, for example, just 2,000. Um, so uh, th those are the numbers to put. Now, as it happens, my telephone number in my office here is 3,002, so I just left it as that because it helps me remember it. And after that, um, so we'll hit OK a little bit after that. We're going to come down to SIP. This doesn't matter. Audio device. Now, the audio input device, we are going to, you're going to select, I don't have it right now hooked up, um, but you're going to look for the Logitech uh, webcam, and this is what you're going to put.
this is what you're going to put on your um, for your audio input device. We want that microphone from your Logitech webcam for the input. Now for the output, it's up to you. There is a built-in speaker in the Polycom um, Logitech, sorry, in the Logitech webcam. You can use that. However, if your if your software is on your classroom computer and it's hooked into your classroom sound system, you can keep it as that. Uh, you can change these at any time. If you have some computer speakers, you'll probably just leave it as speakers. Um, so again, if you wish to channel it, the output to your Logitech device, it's okay for sound, um, but some people would want it even louder if you're connected to a classroom sound system anyways. Now, if you're on a laptop, uh, the Logitech will be louder than your laptop speakers. So I'll leave that choice to you. Camera, uh, you're going to choose the Logitech one from your video device choices. Um, and then you'll hit OK. When you do that, um, originally sort of down on the lower part of the screen, uh, you would have seen a, an IP address that started with 10 dot something. Now, what you should see, uh, somewhere towards the bottom of your screen, uh, mine, I see mine on my lower left, it shows my 799 number and then a little green check mark with a blue box there. So if that's the case, then it's fully configured and it's ready to go. Um, if you ever want to do a test, um, a test call, we have a virtual meeting room uh, set up on the Alberta Education Bridge. So that, if you want to give it a try, you can dial it, and then what you should see is yourself in your reflection. Um, what you can also do is email myself or Ray Rulo, and one of us can set up a test call with you so we can even test the sound. Because what we, if you just call the meeting room and no one else is there, you'll be able to see that you're connected, which is good, but you just won't be able to test the sound. So if you're all alone, you've got nobody else to test with, uh, 2989, the at symbol, 199.216.149.3. So 2989 at 199.216.149.3. Then we're going to hit call. It's going to dial. And if all goes well, we should see ourselves in the meeting room. And if you see yourself in the meeting room, then you know that you uh, have done this correctly. Notice a little uh, volume slider down there. Uh, so the good news is when you're connected to your partner class, you'll see them in the large portion of the screen, and then you'll see your, your own self, your own class in the upper right-hand portion of the screen. That's how the Polycom software works. So those are the settings. Uh, do a test call either to this meeting room, virtual meeting room, or to Ray or myself, and we'll make sure that your system is set up properly. Thanks a lot.